Man, sometimes packaging and tape. Oh, oh my. Here we go, everyone. All right, kicking the vlog off with a little mail time. Every maybe two or three months, I do an update vlog where we talk about a lot of different uh, aspects of what's happening on this YouTube channel. And there's a lot of exciting things happening. And I'm just trying to wrap my, wrap my brain around it a little bit and listen to you. So the question of the day today is gonna be absolutely critical. So we will get to that in one second. Um, all right, so I actually, I don't know what's in these three boxes, but I do know what's in here. Oh, hold on. You know what that is, hold on, hold on. It's that time of the day, you better believe it. Okay. Um, so I actually, I do know what is in here. Oh, and so just so you know, I will give this to my mom and I will film it, but I can't resist. Look at this. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh my goodness. That looks so good. Oh, so the gentleman, he combined the logo with the New York City skyline. Hopefully you can see that. New York City Marathon 2019. Uh, but then look at the back. Oh yeah. Go Seth. Butter my bread. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, moving on. Let us see what is in these boxes. Packaging and tape. Oh, oh my. I almost broke it. It's okay. Holy smokes. I don't even know who this is from. This is from um, Contrast Coffee Mug. So this is a world major marathon uh, mug. And then it has the New York City Marathon route. On the other side, you all know how much I love coffee and tea. World major marathon, New York, uh, one down, five to go out of the five major marathons, but that is amazing. Again, thank you for sending this. Oh, all right, all right. And this up here, okay, Woo. All right, we got it. This is from Jason in Iowa. He says, hey Seth, I bought these last February. They're in Denver at Boulder Running Company. Uh, they just haven't worked for me. Only 12 and a half miles on these bad boys. Hopefully you can find them a good home. Jason, I will. Running shoe giveaways are not, um, haven't happened in a long time. And it's been a, it's been a, a busy fall. They will continue. Um, I'm not gonna say dates at this point and just stay tuned. Stay tuned. So original Zoom flies in size eight and a half. So somebody who needs eight and a half Zoom flies will get these at the next running shoe giveaway. Thank you, Jason, for sending those. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Thank you, Karen. Feels like running shoes. She says, hi, Seth. Big congrats on two awesome races in Amsterdam and New York City. Happy to see you are on the roads. Keep it up. Um, it, it's a longer note. And she just says, thank you, Karen and Shane. Um, thank you so much. See you in Boston 2021. I think, I think that might be the Boston year. I think it might be a little too late for 2020 unless somebody has a connection out there. But um, 2021 sounds real good. So let's see what she sent. Boom. Oh, nice. Okay, Adidas, the Audi Zero Boston. Oh, that is epic. So this is a lady shoe. Um, we do have some lady shoes to give away, size eight and a half for ladies. The Boston, solid. I've heard, I've never actually worn the Boston, but I have heard good reviews about the Boston. Thank you, Karen and Shane for sending these. You all rock. All right, let's, um, actually I'm gonna roll out New York, but this is from a fan. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, wow. Isn't that cool? Oh, Right. Wow, look, it's Papa's logo. He crushed it. Oh my gosh, and this guy. Oh, there it is. Oh, and let's see what's in. Go, Dad, for my brother. Isn't that great? Amazing. So it's for my mom, oh, and. That's um, amazing. Oh, she's going to love she's gonna it. She's going to love it. She's going to love it. It looks so good. Clever. It looks so good. Yeah. Oh my, my, oh my, my. And I found out the name of the gentleman, Russell. Thank you, Russell, from Run Hinged is his company. Thank you, Russell, for sending that hoodie for my mom. I will get it to her once I'm back from Argentina. Okay, and speaking of Argentina, thank you for your patience. I posted this on the Gram and Facebook today. Uh, I'm way behind on email and answering your messages all over the social media sites. But tomorrow, when you're watching this, actually, I'll be on an airplane 
for a long time down to Argentina, so I'll have a lot of time to reply to many of your messages. So again, thank you for your patience there. I'm just striving to, striving to keep up. And speaking of that, I don't know what's happening. I don't know, uh, but I'm grateful. Someone out there is sharing, or peop, a group of people is sharing these vlogs because we are heading toward 50,000 subscribers very, very quickly. And thank you. I'm, I, don't know what to, I don't know what's going on, but I, uh, as a runner, I have goals. I think many of us runners have goals in life, in our careers, um, you know, chasing down PRs. Well, I must say, you know, I do have some goals here on YouTube. And I shared one with True Love before going to the New York City Marathon. I said, hey, hon. Maybe it'd be maybe we could get maybe we could get to 50,000 subscribers before January 1st, 2020. Well, we might get to 50,000 by the end of this week. It's insane. Um, I don't know what's happening, and it connects to the topic of updates for this vlog in the future of where we're headed. Uh, first of all, a shout out to and if you could let me know down in the comments to the first. Have you been subscribed? This is not the question of the day, but have you been, if you've been subscribed since a thousand subscribers or less, let us know down in the comments. You know who you are. I'm thinking of Carol. I'm thinking of Damien. I'm thinking of uh, Fred. Oh my goodness. There's, there's a couple people out there who have been watching for a long, long time. And thank you for sticking with me for this long. But then the channel started to grow, started to talk about running shoes. And um, so if you've been subscribed for under 10,000 subscribers, let us know and because remember the sign it's right there um and it's that was on march 7th 2019 when we reached 10,000. well now we're almost to 50 and i don't know what to do meaning um i want to make sure as a global running family that we strive to maintain the personal side of this youtube channel now as the as the numbers continue to grow, I realize that's going to become more and more difficult. There's no way to get around that. Uh, but that familial um, feeling, I'll just say, an emotion that I have with all of you is inspiring me to become a better person and to become a better runner and to become a better YouTuber, frankly. When I arrived in Central Park last week for that group run, I really was taken aback. And I told True Love and a couple other people, like, that was the first time in my life where I felt like I was really taken aback and I didn't know, I, I was shocked. But it's an affirmation that you all are committed to this channel and I hope, I hope through the daily filming, the late night editing, and hopefully publishing every single morning at 5 a.m. Mountain Time, which I will come back to in a second, um, I hope that I'm showing that I'm committed to all of you as we ascend very, very rapidly to 50,000. And it's not about the numbers, but you know what it is about? It's about the human beings, the people on the other side of this camera who are behind every single number, every single subscriber. There's real people out there. And that's what blows me away. That's what I love about YouTube. And um, so I just want to put that out there that we are growing quickly, and I thank you for watching regularly. And just so you know, you probably, this is no shocker probably to most of you, I do make some money off of the vlog. Um, and the money allows me to uh, buy running gear to review for all of you. It allows me to buy, uh, to fix broken camera equipment. It allows me to travel to some of these races, to meet many of you, to do group runs together. And yes, I'll just be very open. It allows me to buy diapers for my children. That's right. Uh, it's like, so I appreciate you believing in um, the cause. And you're probably like, well, what is the cause? The cause from, from my perspective is to help you, I, in a very simple way to say it, to help you get out the door, meaning to go run, to go breathe fresh air, to go strive for your goals which I know we talk a lot about, it, to go um, become a better person, and not just health-wise, but I think by running and by becoming a runner, um, you are creating natural virtue in your life. Like you're, and I know I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little off track here, but like you are building up um, 
resolve to face challenges in this world. So I, I could go on and on on this topic, but that's why I publish every single day for all of you. All right, we're gonna leave that part of talking in the studio right there. Oh my goodness, you get me going YouTube family. You get me going. Okay, on to Facebook real quick. Oh, so speaking of that familial, uh, that familial um, pursuit, as the channel grows, as we go toward 50,000 and beyond, I know it's gonna be harder to communicate, but we're gonna keep fighting for it because that's important to me. So the Demore Global Running Facebook group, we have like a little under 2,000 people who have joined. Um, here's some tips and tricks for that group. And I realize not everyone is on Facebook. I get it. Like, I think it's healthy to get off of social media um, if you need that. Uh, but at the same time, we're having some really great discussions there at the Demore Global Running Facebook group. So, um, but I realize it's not for everyone. I'm not pushing it on everyone. Just letting you know it's there. Some people have asked me, um, why is my post not being, so I am the only moderator, just want you to be clear, and I have to approve every single post, okay? So I read all of them, and we are getting 20 to 30 submissions every single day, meaning people who want to post in the group, 20 to 30. That's a lot, and I, um, <laughs> I don't want to inundate all of you with too many posts. That is why I have to do quality control and I cannot, I'm, I'm basically picking the topics that connect and I have uh, some points uh, to get your post approved. I have some pointers to give you. Uh, basically, number one, ask yourself, is this topic applicable to a large group of people? Some of the posts are applicable, it's applicable to a small group. I usually don't approve those because think about the kind of the globalness uh, of this family. And so anyway, just putting that out there, think when you're thinking of a topic, make it big. Uh, so that's point number one. Point number two, I usually always uh, approve inspiring stories from people. So if you, like I, I get quite a few about, um, you know, somebody that's lost 100 pounds in the last year because they became a runner or someone who, um, quit smoking and you know and they've been smoking for 20 years and now they're doing their first marathon or whatever the case may be inspiring stories and photos those are great i love that part keep those uh types of posts coming number three polls p-o-l-l -L, polls great great way in fact there was a poll recently on the group somebody created for uh how do people watch the vlog is it on their phone is it on their tv is it on their computer or laptop that was a cool poll for me to read just to hear how all of you are watching uh the vlog so that's number three poll uh polls <laughs> number four that i need to learn from brevity meaning keep your <laughs> keep your posts shorter concise if it's a you know huge you know paragraph or two most people won't read it on facebook it's just people are moving too quick okay so brevity number five uh add a topic to your discussion point so so you can uh sort all of the discussions by topic so marathon new york city marathon injuries plantar fasciitis running socks running shoe questions uh solomon running shoes so if you can select a topic that that will increase your chances of getting the post approved okay so that's number five um and then i guess maybe not a, a direct point but i can't i'm not gonna i don't want to approve all of the injury posts there's a lot of injury questions keep in mind it's the internet and you got to talk to your doctor but um there are a lot of questions about injuries i don't mind those questions i think they're good like I'm, I love talking about plantar fasciitis because I've dealt with it so many times. Um, but again, I think it helps to sort by topic so that we're not repeating ourselves too many times, okay? All right, there you go. Question of the day. I have two questions. What ideas do you have for maintaining the familial and the personal side of this YouTube channel as we continue to grow? together it's happening so what ideas do you have for example i have one idea i'll just pitch it i'm thinking like down the road i'm not ready now i could basically work with someone in new york in chicago in paris in and this is down the road but a representative for demore global running to host 
a monthly group run in that respective city down the road. All right, this is not, but that's like one way to, I think we could work together to meet each other in the real world, not just here on YouTube. So that's my one idea. What ideas do you have? So that's number one. Number two, question of the day, how are we doing, and this is more practical, how are we doing on the publishing time for the blog? Is 5 a.m. Mountain Time still good? And the reason I ask it is because people continue to let me know that they're watching the vlog as they're drinking their coffee, stretching uh, before they go out for their run, before they have to go to work. I'm wondering, should the publishing time be bumped up an hour or maybe two hours? So it would be 3 a.m. Mountain Time. So that would be 5 a.m. East Coast Time. And I realize there's so many time zones around the world, but then everyone on the East Coast might still have a chance to watch the vlog before their morning run and, and as they're drinking coffee. And, um, and everyone in Denver and the, and the West Coast and I guess like Hawaii and, oh my goodness, um, would wake up and it would already be published. That is my question of the day number two. How are we doing on the publishing time? I know that's a lot to digest. Let me know down below. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. We're striving. We're going upward. And I don't know who's sharing these vlogs, but um, oh my goodness. Onward and upward, as we say. Onward and upward. All right. That is it for today. All right. Tossing it back now to vlog number uh, when, we, when we passed the 10,000 subscriber mark about six or seven months ago. So that'll be on the left. And then on the right, we'll toss it back to the New York City group run because it was, it was just so inspiring. So, all right, there you go, everyone. Love you. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.